This is breaking news. Reese Witherspoon recalls finding her voice as a single mom in her late twenties. I made a lot of decisions for my kids. There's a moment in all of our lives when you realize, no wait, no one's coming to help. Witherspoon said during her media company, Hello Sunshine's second annual Shine Away event on October 5. Reese Witherspoon is reflecting on the moments in her life where she recognized she had to make decisions, both as a mother and a business person. During Hello Sunshine's second annual Shine Away event in Los Angeles on Saturday, October 5, the Your Cordially Invited star participated in a panel with moderator Kellen Kenny and fellow panelists Laura Dern and Octavia Spencer, where she was asked if there was an aha moment in her life where she found her voice. Witherspoon, 48, said she thinks about so many moments, before sharing that what she loves about Hello Sunshine is that we look for stories that women save themselves, adding, because every woman in this room has saved herself, whether it be from a financial situation, an education situation, a bad relationship, you had to save yourself. There's a moment in all of our lives when you realize, no, wait, no one's coming to help. No one's coming to make that decision, she added. For me, I have to make that decision. I've had a lot of those. Being a single mom when I was in my late 20s, I had to make a lot of decisions for my two kids and a lot of financial decisions too. Witherspoon is mom to three children, Ava Philip, 25, and son Deacon Philip, 20, who she shares with ex Ryan Philip, as well as son Tennessee James Toth, 12, whom she shares with ex Jim Toth. She was 23 years old when she welcomed Ava. As Witherspoon explained, she also had a moment of realization in her life specifically a Hello Sunshine. After her hit HBO series Big Little Lies earned some of its Emmys and amid Academy Award recognition for her films Wild and Gone Girl. I had four employees and I couldn't keep the lights on. I remember the accountant calling me going, you didn't make enough money producing those three things to keep four employees. And I was like, I'm doing something wrong. Witherspoon said of running her media company at the time, adding that it led to an aha moment, where she recognized she needed help. The other thing was that I think it was an important moment for me to realize there's things I didn't know, and I had to reach out for help. And that's when I had a friend help me create a business plan, she said. It's also good to know what you're not good at, and I know what I'm really good at, but it's also important to go, I'm not good at something. After Sarah Harden became CEO of the company in 2017, Witherspoon joked that she'd ask her literally the dumbest questions you can possibly imagine, noting that the vulnerability, I think, is what led to our success. You need to find a partner. If you're super creative, find a partner who's really good at business or really good at finance, she added. We have to have that partnership too. Hello Sunshine's Shine Away event, connected by AT and T, also takes place on Sunday, October 6 at NIA Studios in Los Angeles, with its mission to empower women as it features conversations with names in entertainment, business, and culture, including Spencer, Naomi Watts, Olivia Munn, and Spanx founder Sarah Blakely. We're thrilled to welcome such an incredible lineup of talent to this year's Shine Away, with a spoon shared at the time of the lineup's announcement in September. We created this event to inspire women to reconnect with their passions. And with this group of brilliant voices, I know attendees will leave feeling energized and motivated.